are you all doing? Hope you are right. It's Tuesday. It's not even hump day yet, but it's okay. We're getting there. Everyone excited to hear what the meaningful vote result will be? Dun, dun, dun. I can't wait to hear. For those of you who are not interested in that or you've had enough, shall we do something else instead? Like an unboxing. You've seen the picture, you've seen the title, you know we're here for Love Lula. I'll show you the box, but really it's only that sticker. It's not that exciting. They are the world's largest natural, what do they call themselves? The world's largest natural beauty shop. And they have a beauty box, which is full of natural and vegan and cruelty free, skincare, beauty, blah, 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 all the stuff, all the good stuff. A monthly box is $14.95 or you can buy a one-off box for $19.95. It is international. There are offers, say 5% if you get a three month, etc, etc. And this is my second box or possibly my third, but I had one a long time ago. No, I think this is my second box. I think my last one was okay. I don't remember being overwhelmed. Remind me, what did I think of last month's box? If you want to see what's inside, then I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to ring the notification bell and share this video. All right, let's get into some natural beauty. So here we are, we have four items. I can't remember if they say they have a total value, you know, like a monthly value or not. They do say on here it's worth £54, the whole lot, but there's no spiel. One thing you do get with them is that it's 20% off the brands in this box um, using the code BBJAN19, valid until the 10th of February 2019. So I'm guessing that's at the website. Go ahead, use that if you want to. Let's get this out of the way because how many times have we seen it lately? <sighs> so many times. This is Dr Botanicals. Superfood Regenerating Sleeping Mask. It's natural, organic. It's, well, you know it is because everything on Love Lula is. It's part of their apothecary range, which has to be kept in the fridge once it's opened. It brings together science and superfoods to create innovative, natural, ecological, and vegan-friendly skincare treatments. No synthetic perfumes, colorants, parabens, etc., etc. I've read this so many times, you'd think I'd know what it does but I can't remember. The nicest thing about this is you can just pop it on and leave it on overnight. You don't need to wash it off and it should make your skin feel moisturized. The pomegranate aims to smooth and brighten the skin. Uh, this says superfood brightening eye serum on it as well. That happened in my last box of this and it was definitely a mask. This is definitely a mask again. I don't know what's going on with their labeling. Somebody made a mistake. This is like their tester size, which to be honest, I wouldn't buy it bigger than this. And unless you literally put it on every single night, you're not gonna be able to use it. It only wants a thin layer because you put it on overnight, you don't wash it off. You can use this for night after night after night. Don't get the bigger one unless you seriously love it and slather it on and you can guarantee you'll use it every night. Because it's in the fridge, I forget to use it. You don't need a massive one because otherwise you won't get through it. A perfect hydrating overnight treatment for thirsty dull skin to beat the January blues. That's what it says. Let's go for this. This is an interesting product. I've never seen it before. This is Balm Balm from the Balm Balm company. Balm Balm, heard of it? It's 100% organic in its lavender hand balm. Brand new from Balm Balm and exclusive to our Beauty Box subscribers, the Lavender Hand Balm, not yet available anywhere else or I like exclusives. This beautiful blend of natural oils and waxes will keep hands and nails soft. They're looking to introduce a lavender range and want our feedback. Oh, exciting. The lavender's not actually not that strong, so it's one of those waxy type balms. It's there, but it's not super strong. That will be nice. It's not probably my go-to thing because you've just like got to dig it out and melt it out, but I'm sure it'll be quite moisturizing. It's a smooth on to trap dry hands or any area that needs moisturizing and nourishing. Mmm, I do like a bit of lavender. It says they should be kept below 30 degrees because otherwise they will melt. So not really a problem now, but in summer, something to think about because that has happened to me before where I opened a lid of something like this and it just went everywhere. You can create a home manicure with this stuff. Put a little balm into a bowl of warm water and soak hands for a few minutes. Pat dry, gently push back cuticles and moisturize. So that's a little bonus thing. 
So just some info about Balm Balm because I've never heard of them before. Balm Balm's 100% organic skincare is gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin. Created by renowned aromatherapist Glenda Taylor in 2005 as an affordable 100% organic skincare range for the whole body, it's made from a base of natural balm that nourishes, soothes and heals the skin. Today the range continues to be lovingly made in small batches by hand in Cheshire using only organic ingredients free from parabens, SLSs and preservatives. It stood the test of time with thousands of satisfied customers. So there you go, a new brand for you to add to your list. The biggest item is this from Madara Organic Skincare Infusion Blanc Supreme Hydration Body Lotion with Neuro Wellbeing Bio Complex. Have you ever heard of a moisturiser being good for your mind? It says, envelop your body in divine softness and comfort. This moisture bursting formula deeply hydrates and rejuvenates the skin, leaving it irresistibly gentle and smooth. Irresistibly gentle? Like, have you been irresistibly attracted to gentleness? Gentle skin? That's a bit of a weird phrase, right? Enriched with a luxurious blend of herbal silk and soothing jasmine, an antioxidant rich meadow sweet enhances your sense of well being. Infused with neuro wellbeing biocomplex to stimulate neurons which protect collagen and help to prevent skin aging. Moreover, it promotes a sense of well-being by activating neurons of happiness. I don't know where my happiness neurons are. Do you? <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be taking the mick out of it. This reminds me of like E45 kind of formula. Oh, it smells lovely though. Really? Oh, what's it rhyme? Some kind of fruit? Not Fissilis. No, can't put a name to it, but it smells lovely. Feels nice. Feels uh, like it's soaking in nicely. It's not leaving a greasy sensation. And it spreads well, which is important for me when it comes to moisturiser. It just reminds me so much of cutting into a fruit and I can't think what it is. It's not a strawberry, it's not a melon. Closer to a pear, but not exactly. Reminds me of when I used to work at Pizza Express and cutting into fruit. Maybe a kiwi even? Maybe. Anyway, I don't really get the neuro thing, but maybe once I put it all over my body, I will. Because what do I need to do? Do I need to sniff this or will it affect my neurons just by rubbing it in? It's not free, gluten free. It's Cosmos Natural. So I guess it's all natural stuff, which obviously it has to be to be on the website. And I cannot see any more information about this neuron stuff. At £17, this would have to do miraculous things for me to ever pay for it. I mean, £17. My normal moisturiser is a pound or a pound ten for 50ml more than this. So don't think I'm going to be a convert unless I win the lottery. And even then, could I justify to spend £17 on a moisturiser? Maybe if it makes me very, very, very happy. Last item is this from Ren Clean Skincare. I'm quite into the idea of Ren at the moment, since I read about all the things they're doing to take the plastic out of the ocean and make it part of their um, packaging range and encouraging people to use it and things and not to be afraid because recycled plastic um, it's very hard to make clear or white so it's often darker and we should take more products in dark coverings because then we can reuse more plastic which is awesome. Even something on Dragon's Den, what was it? They were taking the plastic and making it into horrendously expensive furniture, £500 to make, £1,500 minimum for this tiny little chair but using plastic from the sea to do it so I have to say anyone that can find a use for sea plastic is doing well. I won't be buying that chair. Back to this, Ren Clean Skincare Ever Calm. Now this is the third thing I've had in this range, so I feel like I'm getting a collection. I can put it all together. And this is the Anti-Redness Serum, which I'm very excited about because I do get a lot of redness around my cheeks here. And it's a protective serum for sensitized skin designed to target signs of aging caused by sensitivity and irritation. Say goodbye to redness, irritation, and dryness with this calming facial serum. Developed to replenish skin, it hydrates and repairs, reducing inflammation and visibly improving tone to help sensitized skin look younger for longer. Skin's barrier will be strengthened and resilience boosted, leaving your skin visibly calm and even in tone. Milk protein helps to calm inflammation, aid skin recovery. Ocroleucia, seaweed extract, helps reduce skin irritation and redness. And Arnica reduces irritation, inflammation, stinging, burning, redness, acts as a free radical scavenger too, which I like as well. 
and it even tells you how to recycle it at the bottom. But I like the idea of this. I don't know whether it means it will calm redness as in the kind that I get or actually irritated skin. Because I wouldn't say my skin's irritated, it's just, it's natural stupid redness. I don't know. But anything that might help, I am willing to give a shot and I wouldn't normally go out and buy this because it's too expensive. Right, so the total of this box, I make it 52 pounds and 17 pence. They make it 54 pounds. So we're close, we're close. For a 15 pound box, that's what, almost four times the cost of the box, which is pretty good. I don't know why, but I feel like I would prefer five items at a lower, not a lower price point. I would like five items for this price point rather than four. Is that weird? Because sometimes I feel like all I care about is the value of the total box. But other times, like now, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe because I'm so used to having five items at least in a box to have four just kind of feels a bit weird like where's the last thing weird I don't know what do you think does it feel like enough or not 15 pounds isn't a terrible amount of money to spend to get these four items at all maybe it's because something like this doesn't feel as exciting or necessary that is what is in the box I don't know if I'm going to get lovely in the next month Tell me down below if you are really interested in seeing it, if you're excited to see it or not, if it's a box that you would get if you were in the position to. Yeah, let me know if it's something that we need on this channel or if it's okay if it pops up every now and again. It's been a little while since I announced some giveaways and I finally posted out 85% of the giveaways. No, I've got two peoples to send so kind of like 90% actually. I've got two people to send. One I've got the address of, one I'm still waiting to hear from. So I'm now ready to announce the last three winners of the last three giveaways. Okay, so the Tropic giveaway, we have 31 people that entered, or well, 31 entries, you know, Facebook, Instagram, etc., etc. And number between one and 31, please. 28. And the winner is Emma Caffel. Yet yeah, you have won again, congratulations. And double congratulations because you've just had a baby. So you are definitely deserving of all of these goodies. And I've got your address, so I'll just send it out to you. Excuse me, picker of destiny, my love. Yeah. I've got two more. Okay, between one and 14, this is for the one which was my instant age back video slash talk about new year video. In fact, just to say on that video, I haven't responded to everyone's comments, but I have read some of them. And I really appreciate everyone's comments and feedback. It's been really helpful and really kind and just nice to know that I'm hopefully doing something nice and good stuff and you guys like it and that we're trying to create a nice place. So thank you so much for everyone who took the time to leave me some feedback. I really appreciate it. Right, one and 14. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is Charmed Wench, congratulations. You have won again, that is your second win. So I have your details, I can just send that out to you. And the last one is the Lottie London one, which was the whole advent calendar for you to unblock, unblock, un unbox, 12 days of sleigh. And we have 20 people, well 20 entries. So a number between one and 20. Ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Congratulations to Pink Poodle 2. Yeah. That is your first win. So congratulations. And I will be excited to send that to you. I don't think I've got your address, but I'm sure you can text it to me. So that's fine. So yay for all you guys for winning. Thank you to Husband of Destiny, arm, voice, hand, whatever. Picker of Destiny. And don't worry if you haven't won anything yet because there will be more giveaways to come very soon on my next video, I think. Because I'm not ready, I'm not organized. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that it was interesting to find out about January's Love Lula. I look forward to reading your comments and until you see me next time, I hope you find something positive. Take care of yourselves. Bye guys.